Now for part C, we're asked to write down the matrix C to 100. Now this is meant to be quite easy, obvious, but if you can't see it, it's very easy to see from these diagrams here. Remember we discovered that C represents a reflection in the y-axis, so if we took these unit base vectors here and we multiplied this by C, what we get is this set of vectors, a reflection in the y-axis. So this would be the result of doing C. But if I did C again on this set of vectors, I get back to here because I'm reflecting these in the y-axis. So I get back to here. So this would be C squared. If I did C now on C squared, I get C cubed. It will take me to this setup. And obviously if I do C now on C cubed, I get back over to here, C to the 4, and so on. So can you see that C to the 100, being an even power, is now going to be on this side. It's going to take us back to our original state. It's going to take us back then to 1, 0, 0, 1. This matrix, often called the identity matrix, I, it produces no change in the original setup. Okay, so there you have it, C to the 100.